said that um, you didn't pay taxes for 10 years, according to some sources that he hasn't named. I mean, could you silence these these remarks if by just disclosing more of your tax returns? Well, uh, Harry Reid really has to put up or shut up, all right? So Harry, who are your sources? Let, let's, let's have Harry explain who that is. And by the way, Harry, I understand what you're trying to do. You're, you're trying to deflect uh, the fact that jobs numbers are bad, that Americans are out of work, and you're trying to throw anything up on the screen that will grab attention away from the fact that the policies of the White House haven't worked to put Americans to work, and the policies of the Senate haven't even got a budget in place for three years. Now, let me also say categorically, I have paid taxes every year, and a lot of taxes, a lot of taxes. So Harry is simply wrong, and that's why I'm so anxious for him to to give us the names of, of the people who uh, have put this forward. I wouldn't be at all surprised to hear the names are people from the White House or the Obama campaign or who knows where they're coming from. But, but like these, these other charges, I mean, this is a, uh, this is a time which, which I actually took the president at his word. When he called me and I became the presumptive Republican nominee, he said, you know, this is going to be an important campaign on the direction of the country and, and a debate for the direction of the country. I, I had hoped it would be a debate on the direction of the country. What we're seeing instead is one attack after the other, uh, misleading, false attacks, that by Harry Reid is one of them. Uh, the president's ad saying I'm gonna raise taxes on the middle class, that's, that's patently, simply false. By the way, the president has now raised taxes on the middle class, as so determined by the Supreme Court. But that being said, the, the president's, well, he has ads out there on my stand on life, which are also wrong, and they know they're wrong. This is a time to have a debate about the direction of the country, not a time to have a whole series of, uh, of attacks that are, that are uh, misguided, uh, inaccurate, untrue, and, and detract from the real issues that America faces. And those are important issues. And I, I happen to believe that when we finally come to the debates, and we have a chance face to face to talk about these things and the American people already focus on what's happening that they'll put aside all this silliness. I think they're putting it aside now. They realize what it is. Politics at its worst. Instead of uh, just going back and forth with Harry Reid, why not just release the tax returns? Just put the issue to bed. Well, actually, uh, you can go on our website and you can see my financial disclosure statements going back to 2002. You also can see the tax returns that I put out uh, for 2010, and, uh, and those are, I think, hundreds of pages of documents. You'll get, I've already received a, a, an estimate for the most recent year, 2011. As soon as that's completed, we're waiting for information to come in from partnerships to be able to complete that. As soon as that's completed, we'll put one more year up there, the most recent year. And uh, I've already learned from Harry Reid's uh, action and others that, that the people on the other side of the aisle will try and go through anything we give them to distort it, to, uh, to turn it into something that it does not say, and to try and make political fodder out of it. And I'm following the precedent set by the last presidential candidate of our party, John McCain, putting out two years of income tax returns and putting out our financial disclosure statements, those as required by law, of course. But then going back, go on the website, you'll be surprised to see the amazing amount of data that's associated with, uh, uh, with our campaign's disclosure. Thank you.